All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the 12th episode of the Holland Nerds podcast. I'm Nate. I'm Brendan. I'm Carson. I'm Mac. Thanks for tuning in and nerding out with us. All right, so let's start off this week by addressing that the writer strike is hopefully about to come to an end. They are hopefully going to sign a agreement this week and maybe get some movies back on track, which is good news. Very good, good news. Oh, but yeah. I heard... I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard that it's only the writers um, association that's got like get, getting their deal where the actors still haven't yet. And they're still going to be on strike for the first until they get their deals, I guess. So it's definitely a step in the right direction and the writers are getting their deal. But I guess it's still not like things won't resume yet. I don't think to my knowledge, because the actors are still going to be on strike, which is unfortunate. But I'm glad the writers got their deal. Yeah, as long yeah. as I want them to get their fair pay and everything, I'm I'm really hoping it ends soon. You know, because <laughs> yeah, we're lacking right. on the news lately. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we we got like get excited. one bit of news every week. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. If there was a group I wanted to get their uh, their agreement to come to first, it's definitely the writers because the writing definitely takes a lot of time and thought. And then uh, I mean that I'm not I'm trying to yeah, be a little back process of that, but it's definitely like if you want to sit down and write a good script. That t- it's a whole you know takes takes a whole lot. And they can sit down and yeah. write all these movies while the actors are still figuring out their thing. Yeah. And by the time they're done writing it, all these actors will have, you know, exactly. figured out a deal. So we'll yeah. have some good right. movies coming out soon. Does that mean we're we're gonna get Superman Legacy at the right time? I hope so. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Stranger Things isn't being pushed back to twenty twenty nine. Yeah. I mean we'll see. And then we uh we also got a rumor that Daniel Radcliffe could have been cast in a secret role for Deadpool three. Obviously, um, that's got to be Wolverine. Yeah. Oh, I, I was thinking Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> In Secret Wars. Deadpool walking through Hogwarts. Secret Wars. He comes out of nowhere. No, I mean. Bro, imagine it's like the scene from the first Harry Potter movie where Voldemort takes off the hood and he's like, Harry's just standing there and he turns around and it's Deadpool. <laughs> takes off the hood. That would be great. I mean, I hope it happens. I personally, ever since people started talking about Radcliffe as Wolverine, I've always been a fan of it. I, I like at first it took a little bit. I was like, yeah, I, I don't know if I can see it, but at this point he's beefed up too. Like I think he, I think he would kill it. He's got the right yeah, height. He's he got the right size. like facial features. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. I just don't. I don't see him playing like that aggressive character though. Like it's hard to picture it. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like true. Hugh Jackman looks like he could do that, but like I don't know. I guess it's because I've had him as like Harry Potter for so long. Yeah. it's yeah. like hard to like mm-hmm. picture. It. But he's an actor, so I'm sure. Hundred percent. Sure, he can do it. My thing, I I would go to assume that they're gonna do something similar to John Krasinski as um Mr. Fantastic or whatever. Because and and kind of just like since John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic was such a big fan casting for so long, similar to Radcliffe as Wolverine. They're just gonna like, okay, bet, here you go, once and then a little, yeah, a little yeah, fan service. And then yeah, that's it. Like so he'll have a role as Wolverine, maybe a Wolverine variant in this Deadpool movie. We'll see him. Cool. Maybe he dies or something. Yeah. And then they'll do, they'll either like stick with Hugh going forward or someone else. Do you think they might be, because obviously he's going to be in secret, uh, Hugh's going to be in Secret Wars. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're maybe setting up for us to have more Wolverine content in the future and trying to maybe do a little bit of a, like, because like Wolverine. The character is not going anywhere. Like after after all these great movies we've gotten with Wolverine, and he's a, he's a fan favorite. Just the character in general, I would not be opposed to having. I mean, obviously, after seeing what Radcliffe does, if he is in you know secretly casted wherever this role or part is going to be, probably Wolverine. I I think I would not be opposed to seeing him in the MCU or wherever the future is for the MCU as yeah. as a Wolverine. Same here. I th- I would I would like it. I person I would yeah. I would be very down. I think just, it just depends. I mean, Mm-hmm. Like how Jack he does in the old, he can't he can't do this forever. But. Yeah, exactly. As much as we all want him to do it forever, he can't. So it's just also it's right. really hard to gauge if they're going to be a good character based on like a one cameo, like John Krasinski. Like he was very like stale in Multiverse of Madness, but he only got like ten minutes of screen time, mm-hmm. if that. So it's very yeah. hard to gauge it, like if he's going to be a good character. So it may get bad fan reception, whereas he actually could act the character, or it may get great fan reception. Right. It's like, well, it was just for one appearance, so it might not be that great in the long term. Definitely. 
We also got another rumor that Mark Strong could be cast in the upcoming Penguin show in the set in Matt Reeves' Batman universe. Yes, I saw that. But in yeah. as like a potentially Falcone's son, right? That's or what I thought. A, at least that's a I thought it was Maroney. Yeah. Was well, it not I mean, either or, I think he could play uh, that crime boss very well. A crime boss, yeah, yeah, yeah. is basically the way it's going. As long as Penguin becomes, like, mayor, I think that'll set up the Batman 2 for, like, just perfect. Like yeah, and he needs to be over. running against Dent. He needs to be yeah. running against Dent. 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. And then I think Dent, Dent should, uh, I think Penguin should win, or Penguin should be about to win, and then he sabotages Dent with the acid, and then, you know, that's where Dent goes on his whole, like, taking out everyone type of vibe, like, because he was fighting for justice, and then now... Yeah. yeah. I would, I would, That'd be that would be great, yeah. yeah. That'd be amazing. Oh, and uh, Oscar Isaac would be a perfect two phase. We talked about it in the last episode. Yeah, like, he just would. the duality of his acting. Yes. 100%. He yes. would be great. Who else did y'all want to see like fan casted in either DCU or the Batman? Just Lucas Till as Flash and yeah. Anthony Starr as Reverse. What else Flash. has he been in, though? Yeah. Like, I. Dude, I don't MacGyver. even. I... Yeah. MacGyver. 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 That's what okay. I know him from, but I don't know anything else. I just. I've seen the fan cast for is so it, long, and yeah. I just want it to happen. But mainly, what I really need to happen is the Anthony Starr reverse flash. If there's one fan casting that. ever that I could be like, I need to happen, it's that one. I think yeah. he knows too. I think he, I think he wants it because the way he plays Homelander, dude, it was, this, yeah, it's just it be it's perfect. perfect. He looks just like the eyes. He, it's the yeah. eyes, dude. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. I exactly. really that, like, that happens. It's that psychopathic, like the way he like smiles, but he's like kind of like twitching. It's just ridiculously good. Yeah, he's he's an amazing actor, and I really. What about like uh, what about like villains, like Batman villains? Because you know we're getting a lot of Batman characters. Um, if we got if we say we were to get like Mister Freeze, which I know a lot of people want, I'm not Reeves or DCU. For Reeves, Reeves, Brian Cranston or Giancarlo Esposito. I think it's yeah. Those are yeah, those are the top picks. Yeah. Honestly, Mark Strong wouldn't be bad. I agree. I <laughs> yeah. like Mark Strong. I mean, that, if that's what he would ended up being, I wouldn't I be. I like upset. um what's his name? Uh crap. It's like it's like a really weird name. It's like Minkelson or uh Middleson. It's he's he looks a lot like Cillian Murphy. He's like a I don't remember his name. Oh, I know who you're talking about, but I don't you know. You know, yeah, it's a really name. hard name. Oh, but while we're on the subject of Cillian Murphy, him for Doctor Doom, easily. Yes, I'd love that. I think I, never I could, thought about I could that. definitely see that. That would yeah. be sick. I want it so bad. That would be very sick. I do like that. And then, like, you have people like, I like the well. We already have the Joker in Matt Reeves, but I've always had people like, like, who would y'all cast in the DCU as the Joker? Because obviously, you can't go someone older like William Defoe because mm-hmm. he's just I too old for the role. Bill Skarsgård. That yeah. would be great. Yeah. Iffy on him. Yes, he played it, like the clown in it, but like I think he could do nah, a good bro. job. He he would be a great. Joker. I think I think he could nail it, but it's just I want to get I want to get a new face in there. I want to get I want to get not not a nobody or not somebody on the come up, but I want to get somebody in there that we're not expecting and that could, like I don't I'm know. With you on that. I'm with I you had on him that. as Scarecrow, but the more I think about it, I want Remy Malik as Scarecrow. I think he would be yes. amazing. Yeah, Scarecrow. Yeah, yeah, Mer- Remy Malik. Yeah, that would he be would very be really sick. good. Scarecrow. It, but it, I think uh, awesome. Bill Skarsgård's brother, um, Alex Skarsgård, Alexander Skarsgård, mm-hmm. Aquaman, hundred yes. percent could be Aquaman. I hope. So. Yeah, I really, have you seen really him in that like that Viking, I agree. I agree. That Viking movie? I yeah, forgot what it's called, like, Norseman or something. Mm-hmm. Bro, I've looks, seen he looks like pictures part. of him. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> And then obviously, Jensen Ackles, Jensen. Sir Batman. yeah, Jensen, that's yeah. what I was about yeah. to say. Yep. I don't think yeah. anyone yep. wants anything different. That's why I think James Gunn's going to do it because no, everybody's fan cast is him for Batman. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, I the hope only so. person I would not mind other than him is Jake Gyllenhaal. I think he could do it too. I'm mean, I'm iffy on it. You saw they wanted him to play Batman in the Nolan trilogy. I didn't know that. I think he would have killed it. I think he. I didn't know that either. It. And they wanted Leonardo DiCaprio to play Riddler. Yeah, the Riddler. That yeah, would have been dude. atrocious. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know how. I, would, oh, bro, I mean, he's a great actor. He's a great yeah, actor, so yeah. I think he would have figured he, it out. But like, 
That's yeah. a very interesting casting. Yeah. I'm iffy on it. I don't think I think he's a great actor and he could play any role, but I just don't see him as the Riddler. But you you sense. gotta kind of yeah, no, think like how Matt or not Matt Reeves, but Christopher Nolan's universe was a little different. Like he'd that be a little true. bit different Riddler, similar to Matt Reeves Riddler. He was and to be yeah, fair, nobody thought Heath Ledger would be a good Joker. Like exactly. nobody, everybody, everybody hated no on him. Yeah, that's fact. And then that's it was amazing. Yeah, rip the goat right there. Yeah, no, seriously. But any other castings you guys got? I mind? want the guy who played Dexter. I don't remember his name. Michael Michael C. Hall. I think that's his name. Hush. Sounds Thomas right. Elliot. Ooh. I think in Matt Reeves' be... universe, him as Hush would be just. Dude, that's a really good idea. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah no, that yeah, would be Because awesome. he's got like that psychopathic thing yeah. down. When he's like giving the whole story about why he killed his parents to be mm-hmm. like Bruce, I think that would be like. Amazing. That would be really sick, yeah. Yeah, that was one of my favorite fan castings. I haven't but... seen that. No, that would be awesome. Yeah, but and then I know, I know your Nightwing casting is probably Dylan O'Brien, right? Me? If you had to, oh, yes. well, I was talking to Oh, but like if you had to choose someone, because he's kind of getting older. Like if you had to I choose know, someone, I know. Besides Dylan dude, O'Brien, I'm, who I'm you... keeping the dude from Titans straight up that's, oh, that's good. Fair. he was good like i like uh i like that wolfgang guy that keeps getting fan casted he looks i just like haven't seen part. him in anything he looks the part like he looks yeah, yeah he'd make a killer nightwing but i haven't seen him in one thing so i have no idea yeah. i can't he killer nightwing know. cosplay at least yeah for <laughs> yeah. sure bro and then i want like jacob alordi because he needs someone bigger for like red hood he need like a bigger like mm-hmm. dude other than guy. jacob alordi i don't know who would play the Jacob Lorde would be a good one. Yeah. And then Tim yeah. Drake, the guy, the kid from Gotham, um, David, David Mazuz or whatever. I think Tim Drake. Dude, apparently, like, Timothy Chalamet is rumored to play Damian Wayne, which doesn't make I, any dude, sense. I would be... I'd be done. I I, so as the bad. biggest Batman I fan, would, I'd be done. Yeah, I don't know if I I'd would, watch that. I wouldn't even go. I would, yeah. I would, dude, that I, would be brutal. That would be horrible. He's like twenty something years old. Why would Damien be twenty? Even a, even 30, a twenty year old, Damian. almost thirty. Even, even if he, even he looked David. younger, the youngest he could possibly look is eighteen. The youngest. Well, dude, even if he was supposed to play it a fully grown old Damien, could, I'm not down. Like, no. yeah, he could play Tim young Drake. Damien. He could still play not Tim down. Drake. I'm still still down. too old. But, nah, but that wouldn't be as bad. Damien is like what? Dude, the Damian only comic book sense. character I want Timothy Chalamet to be is Harry Osborn. Harry Osborn. I don't yeah, want him to touch any Tom other Holland. character. I agree. I agree with that yeah. one. I think that would yeah. be great. Other than that, keep him out of comic book movies, please. Because that yeah. new Willy Wonka movie looks atrocious. Terrible. Bro, Literally like, terrible. The, the plot doesn't look bad. But when he's delivering his lines, he's like, slow down, reverse it. I'm yeah, like, no. Uh, it looks ridiculous. Uh, bro. Look ridiculous. It looks bad. It looks really bad. And you can't beat like Johnny Depp and uh, yeah. what's his name? Uh, the first one. Hell no. Blanking. Bro. Uh, Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, bro. Definitely not. Johnny Depp was the reboot. There was no need for this. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But, I agree. Um, but let's go ahead and get into a new segment now then. It's just called Agree to Disagree. Y'all have seen this before. Basically, we'll just go around each state and statements and um we'll just hold up signs to say whether we agree or disagree and uh see if we argue about it or not um so i'll go ahead and start off with my statement being superman is the greatest superhero of all time three two one oh wait <laughs> Hey, yeah, there we go. I, I was letting I was letting my bias. I don't think yeah. he's my yeah, favorite I superhero. Almost yeah, did he's too. The, I said but, best. But when you look at him yeah. as like an actual superhero, I don't think there's anyone who does it better. Maybe Spider Man is a close. Spider-Man That's my second place. Close. But okay, there's okay. I was gonna say, is it, Mac, what's your what's your reason? Okay, okay, okay. Now that I'm, okay, is he the greatest superhero? Yes. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about <laughs> he it, agrees. Like, okay, okay. Uh, agrees. He's, I, I think he is the greatest superhero, not the most entertaining or you yeah. know that, but 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 he's, I agree. He's, exactly. he's he's literally a god. Yeah, that's like, totally yeah. fair. Yeah, and he's, he's doing the cats out of trees. 
but then he'll also yeah. save you from yeah a world destruction. I, yeah, no, he's the best. I'm in All no way a smile like a big Superman face. fan, but like yeah, he's he not my is number the one ideal superhero. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, my like number four and my favorite. Superman is but exactly. Yeah, he's the he's yeah. the best when, when when you're talking about it in that that sense. I can agree. Right. Who wants to go next? I'll All go. Right. All right. Oh, go. You can go. Oh, okay. Nightwing should become Batman. Three, two, one. Well, obviously, <laughs> there is no why, way man. you think he why should. Do you, why do you I think, think he should? I think. Okay, well, I think in the comics, not in the next couple of years, but I think maybe either the mantle should be passed down to either Dick or Damien. But I think I want to keep Dick a little younger, and I think I think. Um, or yeah, I'm gonna keep Damien a little younger. I think Dick would actually make a very good Batman. I I I think it would be I think it would be a really good arc for him to go off on his own thing and then just come back to it and be like, after all these years, you know, of everything I try to get away from, like this is what I ran from. But, but I feel like that really like messes that. with his character. That's his whole I, point. He yeah, yeah want he to be like Batman. That, so. I agree he with has you. A whole arc where he tries to prove he's better than Batman. Like yeah. that he I he's agree a better with the like, aspect hero. that you said he could be a good batman i yeah. definitely agree yes. with that he but should be the if you know me you, if you know me i don't want anyone to take up any mantles take get your own damn mantle he should, i agree Quit he should be the mantles. batman of the new justice league like i should be he should be the imposition of the batman but yeah he shouldn't yes. be yes. Batman. Yeah. yeah i agree with I, that. Think, I think yeah. dick is probably the last robin i'd want to be batman to be honest i'd yep. rather jason yep. damien and no actually jason is the last robin that i think i would want to be that no because yeah, even so him becoming is. batman wouldn't butcher his character if dick became batman again it. it would just butcher him it would just take away the entire point of tom taylor's run of him becoming would, his own hero yeah and becoming this beacon of hope it, it would exactly jason, yes Unless would be something... a bad batman but it wouldn't ruin his character but like i mean it would make sense if something super bad happened to Dick, like he loses Barbara or something, pushes him down like a super dark path. He goes back to like being Batman or whatever. That is fair. I think I think Damien or Tim, Damien most. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Is, yeah. I I could agree with that. All right, uh, MCU. The MCU is the best movie franchise of all time. Give us One, a two, three, go. Uh, disagree. disagree Stu. I think Star Wars takes okay, it. That, I can't that's my, lie, bro. I can't argue with the that. The first bro. three movies of Star Wars alone are better than majority of the MCU as a whole. I but then you gotta it. look at the last three and the first three. Are the the prequels and the last? Okay, three. but if if you take that in consideration, look at the current MCU. Like that's pretty much equal to those. Like yeah, sequels. wait, actually, you know the what? second three are good. Yeah, you know what? I but hesitated. Like the first six are good. The I got six I got, movies of Star Wars. I good. was I was nervous because of the countdown. I'm switching it. It is Star <laughs> Wars. It I is think Star Wars. Impact, yeah. I think the impact is around the same, but I think overall quality. I think the MCU is better. Like I think it's put out better. It has more highs than lows compared I mean, to Star Wars. See that I don't know, or or more highs than lows. I can maybe agree with that. Look at, but the highs of Star Wars are definitely higher than the highs. Than the of, highs of you think my, the best I mean, of Star opinion, Wars is better than the best of the MCU? I think I think so. That's why you, I'm you disagreeing. said the yeah, other bro. day that the Infinity War is one of your favorite movies of all time. You didn't even mention a Star Wars movie because we were talking about comic book movies. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so wait, w- would you put any Star Wars movie over Infinity War? Yeah. What, Revenge of the Sith? The Empire Strikes Back. I'm trying yeah. to see... Yeah, if Maybe I Revenge mold. of the Sith, but probably not. Empire Strikes I'll Back is the second one. Right? I'm, I'm putting... I'm putting, uh, Dude, I'm putting I uh, might. Rogue Revenge One above Infinity Ooh. War. 100%, Rogue One? Bro. Rogue I haven't even seen that. Dude, Rogue bro. One is peak. That's, I don't know if I'd play above of Infinity War, but dude, I might Star put. I don't blame you. I might put Revenge of the Sith over Infinity War. I don't know. I'd have to think about it a little bit more. But I, dude, I love that movie. I love it. Yeah. I know it's I mean, not like amazing. Movies, I'm not gonna say it's a better. Wins. Or I guess like if you're saying a personal favorites, 
then it's definitely it, then it's questionable. Infinity War is better than Revenge of the Sith. I'll say like I'll I'll get that out of the way. It's a better movie than Revenge of the Sith, but I might like Revenge better. I'm taking Empire Strikes Back over it, hundred percent. I'm taking Thor: Dark World over the entire Star Wars. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> I'm taking Morbius. Well, no, 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 that's bad. We we know I'm you're taking, taking Morbius. <laughs> we know. I was always taking Morbius. <laughs> All right, Stu. All right, is it, is it my turn? <clears throat> Batman and Nightwing can take down the or the the Marvel Street Tier heroes alone. Yeah, Batman and Nightwing. Name one Street Tier. Name one Street yeah, Tier. That can I was just Batman. thinking. I was just thinking. I was just thinking. The only, I mean, name just one. I'd say the name. name. You said he said all of street tier. Yeah, you said he said the whole. He said the whole street. I'd say. I mean, not because I'm assuming they get into. They got some prep time. Yeah, no, not on. Yeah, they're just fighting. At once, they're not getting like they're getting like rushed, but they're not fighting every single person at once. You know, like they're. It's not like yeah, they just have to. Okay. Yeah. Take Nightwing out of it. Batman's taking them yeah, all. Yeah, I, I, yeah, they do. I, I, I was just thinking about obviously Spider Man, and then dudes like Daredevil, saying, yeah. Luke Cage. Spider Man. Yeah. Here's the here's the thing. You also have Kamala Khan. So like, it, he's not street level. Yeah, I don't know. She's, he's an X Men now. But you don't like. Well, I think the biggest problems would be Spider Man, Daredevil, and Spider-Man Luke Cage. For sure. And Luke Cage. Spider Man. Luke Cage. Is Luke, yeah. Luke, no, they figure it out. They figure it out. But I'm saying when it comes to like everyone. All no, of yeah, like individually, it's no problem. Probably... I think Iron Fist yeah. and Daredevil would be a difficult mm-hmm. ones, but they Definitely. wouldn't be impossible. But I mean, Moon, especially Knight, if you're... Moon Knight would be brutal, but it would Batman would win. And I'm assuming because we're giving them like they got prep time. Yeah, they're Both just like move, like they're yeah. they're not getting jumped, you know, like they're they're fighting certain people and then other people are coming. Then, yeah. Do we consider Black Something Panther like street tier? Like no. would Black Panther be? No? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I I really don't. He's he's an Avenger. He's an Avenger. Yeah, exactly. Spider Man's an Avenger. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. yeah, not. Is 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 he's Captain been. America street tier? He has all the qualities of street tier. Like no. he's not. I don't think so. Yeah. I think what makes you street tier is if you like. Yeah. Like, you you're you're primar- like you're primarily primarily <laughs> fighting if you on the known, street if level. Friendly neighborhood well. Spider Man. Uh, the Devil of Hell's Kitchen. Um, yeah. you know. If you're strictly like in a community area and that's where you mostly fight your crime, that's you know, yeah, street tier. Okay, that makes yeah. sense for the most part, I'd say. Yeah. All right, my turn. All right, and yeah, when we say ours, just do it. Do a countdown so we have time to think because I'd be getting oh, okay. rushed. <laughs> All right, here's my next one though. You guys might need to think about this one. Deadpool three will be the best movie in the trilogy. Three. Two, one. All right. What do you, what, you think it will be? I think yes. it's, every Deadpool has for, been a 10 so far, and I think it's going to be a 10. I just I, see. For the sole reason that Hugh Jackman is in the movie as Wolverine and all the other stuff that's rumored, like, aside, just the fact that Hugh Jackman's back, I think it will be. I Ryan mean, Reynolds, fair. Hugh Jackman, Wolverine and Deadpool interacting, it's going to be a 10. It is going to be the best absolutely. movie I've ever seen in my entire life. See, I'm totally. I'm confident. I I think it's. I'm. I, I hope. I sure hope so. And I definitely think it's going to be really, really, really good. But my thing is, it both the first two movies, but especially the first one for me, is so unbelievably good that like it's hard to predict anything that I haven't seen will be better. You know what I mean? I agree. And like it hasn't been done yet, and like it's not done. There's not even a trailer. It's hard to predict for me that it something will be better than how flawless that is you know what i mean and just given with the track record of comic book movies and stuff to pull in the whole multiverse nostalgia bs crap just cameos just because you know like multiverse of madness or flash uh titans show like all this you know bs it's possible they do that to this i don't yeah. think but they again, will uh, but you can possible. do it right and get a get good reception you know For sure. uh, across the spider-verse into the yeah. spider-verse everything 100%. everywhere all at once all multiverse stories that were easily tense definitely. so like it just depends how they do it and not that they're doing it you know definitely 
Yeah. I think I say disagree because one, I don't want to get my, no, okay. I, I, I should rephrase this. Not that I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to put too much personal pressure on this movie and expect too much out of it and go into inspecting all and inspect all this. It's just what I feel like has been mainly going on in a lot in Marvel and some and just across a couple of different comic book movies. I think it's going to be amazing. I don't want to say I think it's going to be the best out of the trilogy because I don't want to ruin it for myself. I also agree that I think the first one is just such an amazing movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have, of my top three movies of all time, Deadpool 1 and 2 are two of the movies. So, like, I respect it, yeah. I'm a little bit lower on 2. I still absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. But 1 for me is just like... It's up there with I don't want another, versus you don't want another multiverse Dark Knight situation yeah. where you go in expecting so much that they, they like they like told you what it was going to be and then it was just nothing. Exactly, like that. exactly. That's that's yeah. that's what I'm kind of feeling. And it's not just about cameos; like it's just about how it's marketed. You know, like mm-hmm. it's marketed as a multiverse movie. You know, they're saying that Deadpool's going to be traveling the multiverse, so give us the multiverse. Don't just give him going to the TVA mm-hmm. and then dropping him in a random universe with some random characters. You know facts give us give us people that we've seen before like yes i want cameos please yeah no i'm with you on that but all right who's up i think it's mac yeah. okay I, I i'm conflicted on my own i agree or disagree <laughs> but i think i think dr manhattan i think dr manhattan should have set the record straight in the end of watchmen and made some announcement to the world and should have killed or at least gotten Osmandius his justice instead of killing Rorschach. Uh, Three, two, two, one. one. Yeah. I agree with you. I I think... You're saying that he should have outed Ozymandias at the end, right? About, like, all the stuff he did? See... It's so hard because, like, I obviously agree with – I don't agree with Ozymandias, but I do agree that if he did out Ozymandias, it would have just sent everything into a way worse state. And Ozymandias knew that. Yeah. Like, he was the smartest man alive. He knows that everything would have went horribly wrong. The human race could have ended had he told everyone that it was him. And yeah. I think that's why I disagree. I mean, like, I, I don't agree fair. with what he did, but it's, mm-hmm. like, the I, hard I, truth I, of it. I just wish I wish he would have dealt with it. Like I'm glad he didn't because I because Watchmen and Doomsday Clock are two of my favorite reads of all time, and we would not have Doomsday Clock without if if you know if Dr. Manhattan had um, exposed Osmandius. But I just I don't know. I the ending was an amazing ending, but at the same time, it's like I I don't know. I I just I just wish Dr. Manhattan would have had some guts, had some humanity in him. Instead yeah, that's of, fair. Uh, instead it of trying sucks. to, yeah, it sucks to see those characters that you like, especially those like high, like like above, like reality characters, like Silver Surfer and Doctor Manhattan, where you just really wish for them to like develop the sense of humanity. But as you like watch it, they're just getting further and further away. Mm-hmm. It's it's, it's like scene, it's really hard to watch. The, it's the scene in the movie after the Vietnamese woman slashes the comedian's face, and he goes, "Um, you could have done something, but you didn't. You could have turned like you turned." You could have turned the gun into mist or the bullet into snow or like a butterfly or something like that, but she didn't. And it's showing how he's like getting distant and distant from a being a being a god. Hundred yeah. percent. Did the same thing in Doomsday Clock too. It was just he was just observing, just changing things and because just for the fun of it. And then yeah. yeah. And then at the end he got his humanity back and turned himself into Clark Kent. Yeah. Which makes no sense still. Yeah. To this that day. was yeah. Yeah. That's why I said when we were talking about Doomsday Clock earlier, it's like canon, but not canon, because some of it makes sense and some doesn't. Yeah. But all right. Um Shazam should not be on the Justice League. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Hey, we all agree. There we go. Sweet. He's a kid. And I don't mean just like he shouldn't be like I don't think that he not like the main roster. I just mean in general, he should not be on the Justice League. Hey, it is child. Yeah, I mean, if you want to put throw him on the Teen Titans, that's fine. <clears throat> I think it'd be you know? cool to put him on the Teen Titans. Yeah. I agree. I think that'd be but very to, cool. To like, even though he's like this big hulking god, like to put him, he's a kid. Like at heart, he's a kid. Yeah, and the exactly. fact that they all know that and allow it, it's just, 
it's it's just wrong. It doesn't sit right with me. I'm with you um, on that. Yeah. Well, obviously, obviously, Batman um has a doesn't have a problem with putting kids on the front line. But yeah, um, that's true. But still, it's not like they're in the Justice League. Yeah, like fighting they dark have side. So, yeah. All the time. yeah. It's actually. It's just weird. That is, yeah. No, I'm with you. Do y'all remember? Though. I don't remember what comic it is. I like it was the one where they were talking about him being on the Justice League, and I want to say it was Green Arrow, and he was talking to Batman, and he was like, um. Crap! It was Batman was getting on to. Who was he getting on to? He was getting on to someone about them having like a kid sidekick or bringing a kid onto the team. And then Green Arrow was like, "You're the one to talk, drafting your kids into war or something like that." I don't, I don't remember what comic it was. I'm not but, sure, but I know, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was just that whole scenario, basically. I feel, but I'm glad we agree. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Invincible season two will be better than season one. Three, two, one. <laughs> I, I don't know. The comic, so he doesn't know. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna, so for my, for my now. same, yeah, I'll just go like this just because my same reasoning for um, Deadpool and stuff. Season one was so good. I don't know what the hell season two is going to be, so it's hard for me to say it'll be better. Nate, just know it's, it's. Yeah, I would assume based on crazy. since you yeah. guys have read it and I haven't, but. So that's why I was like, I don't know. <laughs> the fact that they announced Angstrom Levy, like for real now, it's yeah, it's going down. Yeah, I don't like, know it's that is. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, well, you're gonna know. Yeah, you're gonna about know that to. name. I'm about to. After you watch there's it, a, you gotta read the comic though. There's a lot of crazy mm-hmm. stuff that goes on during that arc, during that whole. Yeah, like, I'm hyped. So much. When is it coming out? Soon, uh, right? November. November. Dude, November. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. When does Gen V? When does Gen V premiere? Friday, right? This Friday. Yeah, this. Well, so last, so like three days, two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah, because this will come out on Sunday. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. 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 Two days ago. We'll talk about it in the next episode. Uh-huh. Yeah. But did we all go twice? Yeah. 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 Sweet. That's a lot of fun. We'll definitely have to do that more. Yeah, I enjoyed that. All right, guys, it's your favorite segment. It's my favorite segment. Let's get going to King of the Hill. You already know what it is, baby. We're going to put some some OP superpowers in there. We're going to put some whatever the opposite of OP weaknesses in there. Uh, we're going to mess them around. You guys gave us some. We put our own in there. It's going to be a fun twist. Let's get into it. Uh, Nate, you go first. Nate, your power is... You can breathe underwater for two straight hours. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. I think that's more of just a skill. But, yeah, cool. um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> your weakness is... You're allergic to water. <laughs> you sneeze ten times when you use your powers. <laughs> okay, so I feel like that doesn't really... So my power and weakness is kind of just pointless so i'm just yeah me. So all right i think you're just me but i can swim while you're really water <laughs> if you're gonna breathe like, underwater for two hours and then when it hits the two hour mark you're gonna sneeze and just die <laughs> yeah, I, I guess yeah here's the thing though is you you know i'm not gonna get into it. i'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> all right mac your power is you can fire creation slash manipulation you fire control re- fire oh okay okay your weakness is you're afraid of fire. Stu, your power yeah. is you can control light. But your weakness... Whose is this? Uh, Stu's. You can control light but he has horrible depth perception. <laughs> so he's not hitting nobody. <laughs> Finally, <That's interesting. laughs> I can talk to sea life, <laughs> but I have to read the dictionary every time I use my power. <laughs> like the whole thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was okay. This was brutal. I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like so wait, Mac, you have the fire, but you're scared of it? Yeah. yeah. So I wrote both like... of those. Those are both mine. I was hoping either this 
because <laughs> I was kind of hoping the same person didn't get it, but it would still be hilarious. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I yeah. really hope someone else gets it. Because then they're just like up. done. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know. So here's my thing. Do you think your guys' fight will last longer than two hours? Because I might be waiting no, it out. No. I might be waiting it out. Dude, I'm, I'm, but how, well, we got to think. It says when you use your powers, you sneeze. So is so that I'd probably just be breathing? sneezing under? I'd probably just be sneezing underwater. But then you would like die. That's well, no, crazy. No, because I would just be. I'm like I can survive underwater for two hours. So, but I would just be sneezing. I guess. Thing, no, you can breathe things. underwater for two hours. Well, when so you sneeze, if I can breathe, you let out your breath. We have right. If I can breathe underwater, I can sneeze underwater. Why wouldn't I be able to? In those in those two hours, I'm if on I can breathe. Hour... Because I can't breathe now, so I can't sneeze underwater. But if you could breathe underwater, then you could sneeze underwater. Have we ever seen Aquaman sneeze underwater? I guarantee he'd be sneezing. And Atlant- Atlantean <laughs> fools. I guarantee they sneeze him. But regardless, I mean, so I could just chill underwater. Yeah, but while you're underwater, I talk to a shark and get it to eat you. Oh. And But I got out. Re- I got out for that. I got out for that. Uh, no, not, I'm not winning. I'm not winning. I'm just, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just chilling. He just got out of the water really quick. But while you're out of the water, uh, Mac lights himself on fire, starts screaming, and runs into you. Exactly. <laughs> I was just hoping one of you guys were going to get, like, a water power or something, and then I was like, oh, and then I'm be like, Loki, good, compared Wait, to the rest. Wait, what's our names? I feel like Mac should be, like, fire phobia. I don't know, fire fear. Fire fear. <laughs> hmm... I think, no, no, the whole two hours that Nate's underwater waiting for us to fight, I'm on a Zoom call with my therapist, like, talking it out, <laughs> like, trying to get over my fear of fire. There you go. Can we be, let's be, like, let's be, like, serious real quick. I think Stu wins. Yeah, for <laughs> Cause sure. Because it doesn't matter if his death perception's bad. He controls well, light. Well, it's even, <laughs> yeah. well, exactly. what's your power again? Brandon? Mine? Yeah. I can speak to sea life. Okay, yeah, so that really only a, is matters if I'm underwater <laughs> not necessarily i can get away like are we fighting near i'm assuming we're fighting near water because you know what sure makes you assume that because nate like, assumes <laughs> that he can be invisible the entire fight and never get seen so i'm gonna assume we're fighting that's not assuming if i'm invisible that can be in an airplane <laughs> the whole time so if my power is underwater. being invisible then i can be i can assume i'm invisible if my power <laughs> is being invisible no, the way we were arguing about him being airborne and nate was like oh well he can just pull up in an airplane but i no, i wasn't underwater. saying that he was saying that no i mean no i mean if that's chill i mean yeah no i definitely think Stu wins because he's the only one with like an actual power that is like matters in a yeah in an unless we can fight. lure together we lure Stu near the water and i get a shark to like a ooh, megalodon ooh. jump out no okay so i'm afraid yeah. of fire i'm afraid of fire. i had i have bad death perception i'm not dumb so he's he's gonna I, yeah. <laughs> You're like, come on, Stu, this way. <laughs> yeah, the ocean. But you can't see that you're you don't know you're so close to the water. I promise we're not taking you to the ocean. You can, you can hear water from like a mile. Away. No, it's just a speaker. <laughs> but your depth is for the vibe. Bad, it's so for you the don't vibe. know how far away it is. Oh, it's far. Now, Stu is definitely just giving us all extreme sunburns and we're done. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm gonna I'm gonna so I'm afraid of the fire, but I'm assuming I'm afraid of it's close to me. I'm gonna create like a like a fire NATO around Stu, so it like sucks up all the oxygen in the air. I'm just gonna suck it. The flash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 But like, if I do manipulate, I'm gonna make it like a ring of fire. Around he does. Eyes. It does say fire creation slash manipulation, so he can create it and manipulate it in any way. Oh, yeah. You see, I... you see, you see that like uh, that light post right there. I'm just gonna like steal that light and hit you in the head with it, just, like out of nowhere. <laughs> Well, technically, you don't have to absorb light. You just like I you can just do have anything to. with yeah. Light. So I'm you just gonna block to out the sun. Post. I'm just gonna block out the sun. Yeah, and if I can speak to all sea life, I can speak to sea life on other planets as well. Since we're being op right now, um, sea life's gonna be gone on Earth once I block well, then you out see, the sun. <laughs> during those, they can live. I can breathe underwater for. If we're doing this, I can breathe underwater <laughs> for two hours. So I go under for two hour increments, and then I get back up, just take a breath, go back under. <laughs> but I'm in water the whole time. By that point, after like maybe fifty years, I'll start evolving. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll start evolving. You still, you still have to eat. Like, you still have to eat. Bro, bro thinks he, bro thinks he yeah, turned I'm into like, a fish. I'm turning into a mermaid. God. <laughs> I'll eventually just evolve into Aquaman, and then I win. No, bro. I'm playing. I think it's it's between Stu and Matt. Y'all at home gotta let us know. Plus, if you stay underwater that long, you'll be all like wrinkly, you know, from like when you're in the bath. Exactly. So you guys would be scared of me. It'd be like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dry you out. I dry you out in the water. I, I dry you out with my with my fire. I'm like, oh, he's just. Oh, appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, but since I can talk to sea life, I would just get Storm to bring the whole ocean. Wait, uh, <laughs> once I turned into a mermaid, you could talk to me. I'm not going to lie. I feel, like, I, feel like, I, feel like, I feel like Nate could get one person out because if he just, like, grabs somebody, takes and jumps down underwater under into the water. Yeah, yeah that's very true. Down. He's that's what he's for two hours. Just tie, like, $100, the only 100 one pound weights to my get ankles. With that is Mac. Because Mac wouldn't be able to use his powers. You'd probably Me, be freaking I could out. Shark. I could no, use a shark to get you. He could use light Stu. to get you. No, Stu would be like Mr. Magoo or whatever. He'd be like walking around. <laughs> There's still where light. He's going. And he'd be like, oh, got you. And then take you down under. you go. <laughs> <laughs> who is Mr. Magoo? See, what am see, I? You know who Mr. Magoo is? No. It's like an old cartoon of like this really short old blind guy that was like always getting into trouble. And like his granddaughter or somebody was chat. Look it up. You know if you know what I'm talking. About. <laughs> Come on, chat. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, chat. I, mean, on, I, gotta make sure I'm talk- I gotta make sure I'm talking about the right thing before Mr. Magoo. So I think we come to the conclusion that Stu probably wins, right? I think so, but I do think if Mac can overcome some some fears yeah. and some some dra- some trauma, I'm he just, might be able to I'm figure like it out. Ba- I'm but, like, you gotta think- Batman, bro. I'm like Batman, bro, just with fire. That is true. Plus, it's creation. It's like the Rubik's Cube thing. He can just spawn the fire in you. Ah. It's creating or manipulating. Or he can manipulate it to where it goes inside you. And yeah, just that's, I mean, that's probably true. So it's yeah. it, it's close. It's between them two, in my opinion. Y'all but at wait, home got to let us fire know. Fire is light. So could Stu it's, not yeah. cancel out his light of the fire? No, it's not really light. Could like, it, it, it gives it off out? light. It gives off light. It's just the chemical it's reaction. It's used so to light. It's gonna off. It gives off light or heat or a color change. So, yeah, but I can use anything that's a light, right? That was yeah, the I power. Guess. I would assume yeah, so. I... Yeah, I believe your power was uh, control light. That is base. That's it. You just control light. Yeah. So there you go. Y'all yeah. at home, then let us know. I mean, because yeah, I mean, when you really start thinking about light, that could be op. Yeah. I mean, light is colors. If you, you know what I mean? So that... <laughs> no. Stu just, like, <laughs> so, so just like changes the color of my shirt. I foiled your plan. <laughs> no, but I'm saying so like that could enter it. Like if you could do something like change the color of something that's kind of I can molecular. You. Like you're changing you the molecular. Yeah, so like there might be a lot of hacks with that with years of training. Yeah. Well, how and you he doesn't really need like, yet, but By that point, I'm a fucking right. mermaid. At that point, <laughs> you're not. A, I'm gonna get a shark to eat you. Like, Bro, you just because you could talk, it didn't say you could control him. You could talk to him. So maybe they're yeah, just like, I'm gonna nah, quit to talking to me, bro. I'm gonna like, nah, yeah, come on, like, bro. Hey. Like, no, get out of here. I'm like, you're a good shark. You're gonna eat me, right? <laughs> good shark. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, y'all, y'all at home, let us know me. who's winning and give us some more powers and weaknesses down in the comments to use next time. But now that we're done with that, it's time to get into some heated arguments because. Recently, we've been we we were talking about um, MCU and we were talking about the Civil War movie, and then we started talking about who's on Team Iron Man, who's on Team Cap. I'm alone here. I'm Team Iron Man. The boys are Team Cap. So let's talk. You'll heard it here first. Nate's an op. See, y'all yeah. talking about op because <laughs> yeah, I because he signed bro. with the because he signed it. You're saying he signed with it's the not, government. It's not. It's not Nate's fault that he's a strong government leader. Okay. Exactly. No, but like. <laughs> Here's what I think. Sure, you can, you can sign. Like if I, I would, I would do exactly what Iron Man did. He signed that shit to to save his own ass because otherwise he's going to be a wanted criminal. Like why would you want that? And then you can still sign it and still go rogue if you want to, like he does. So what you're saying is you so don't support it. You just point? support Iron Man's decision. No, I'm on. Yeah. So throughout the entire. Like, cause if you just, if you sit here if if you sit here and tell me that from start to finish you watch that movie and tell me you aren't on Iron Man's side throughout the movie, 
I, don't, I, I can't agree with you. I feel bad for Iron Man. Like, I, I understand why he did it, but I don't understand, like, nobody should have sided with him. Like, yeah. No, I mean, Rhodey actually, obviously sided with him because it's his best friend and he already works for the government. So they understand, yeah. I understand why Rhodey did well, yeah, Rhodey, yeah, yeah. And we saw what happened to Rhodey. We saw the Black Widow traded sides. Yeah. It's because. Sure. No, there's the definitely. They wanted him to be, this hero to be sanctioned by the government to where the government told them when and where they could act. And that's just, yeah. that's the whole, that for defeats sure. the whole point of the, that defeats the, the whole point of the Avengers. I, and yeah. no, I, I see where you're coming from with that. Are, and I, I agree with you on that. Earth's, but you, Earth's mightiest heroes. And so because of that, you can sign some little BS piece of paper and still do that, whatever you want. Then what's the point yeah, of What's the point criminals. of signing the paper? Like you still then be confused either criminals. way. Yeah, I know that, but we'll see, no, like this is because that's what Iron Man did. You know, he signed it and everything. He was rocking with them. And then, but then when he re- he was like, oh, wait, let me go help out Cap. Right. And so he's like, yes, yeah, just he everyone. Changed his mind. That yeah, is exactly. Different. But he still, he, like, he changed still. His mind. That wasn't exactly. his all along. He changed his mind. Oh, no, yeah, I know. Because, exactly my point saying you can still go Cap off Rogue. And then so, he pulls well, up think, on Cap. And I think then we're they arguing pro Cap or pro Iron Man. We should really be arguing pro registration or anti registration. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously we well, understand no. why Iron We're Man. We're arguing did. Team Cap or Team Iron Man. Whose team would you be on? Well, okay, Team well, Cap negged. So I mean, like I'm going Team Cap all day. Yeah, yeah. Cap. But Nate, are you pro or anti-registration? Like the actual. Well, yeah, no, me. Like I like so. my like morals would be anti. But if I was a superhero and I was there, I am signing it a hundred ten thousand percent. Especially when you look into the logic of it, because, I mean. Sure, I don't. I disagree with the aspect of of the accords with like, yeah, like the government is now in charge of you. Which, like I said, would they could think that, but that wouldn't be the case regardless. But it's mainly. But what I do agree with is the a- fact of the Avengers were one hundred percent out of out of line, whether they were doing the right thing or not. They were carelessly doing it especially and in this movie team cap the entire time is carelessly doing things that they just is not necessary in the in the airport fight why the hell is wanda feel the need to just destroy half the parking lots cars to try and hit iron man with them you know what i mean like this pointless shit that you're just you don't care it's just you don't even think about this because you're just like oh i gotta do this you know what i mean it's just stuff like that it was it was at the beginning it wasn't scarlet with his fault she was trying to save everybody and she couldn't contain the blast long enough like she was no, 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 get... no, not that. No, I'm saying in the airport fight. Like, but there's oh, no, you were just times saying, saying even from the beginning they were being careless. Well, that's the whole point was that they were careless in the beginning, but like it wasn't really their fault. Like, so they were trying to save people. They're always trying to save people. But yeah, property damage is always going to be a thing. Okay, okay. Worry about property. Worry about people. Why did Iron Man bring a kid into the fight? No, that's, I mean, I guess that's fair, but also because he's like, one of, as far as yeah, with as far as the people that yeah can like involved in that, he was one of the most physically Basically, superior one like people there. Some some down, cash grab. Oh, hundred percent, yeah. Much. But um, Civil War I mean, was a cash grab. No, no, no. no Spider Man being there. Oh yeah, Spider Man. Yeah. But it's toys. I mean, the like, but like also. Another reason the- why I'm on Team Iron Man is I cannot be on Team Bucky because regardless of whether who he turns into and who he ends up turning into, and yes, he ends up redeeming himself, and regardless of the fact whether – and yes, he was brainwashed, so it wasn't his will and everything like that, but it was still him. And at that time – in at that time, now we know, but at that time, he had not redeemed himself. And if you know comics and everything like that, you know eventually he will, but as Civil War comes out – all this dude has done. Yes, it wasn't him. I understand that. And so I'm not saying he should be punished, but you can't out here. You can't be out here trying to like. You, you know he doesn't what I mean? need he to needs... redeem himself. He didn't do anything. It was all mind control. Like he doesn't he doesn't no. need to be redeemed. No. Yeah, I know that. But I'm saying we know that now. But like when you're watching this movie, you don't know all this. You, you, we don't know all yeah, this. Sir. You know what I mean? You don't and know we're watching Arnold's it real over. time. Yeah. Like when the movie Baron came Zemo. out. Exactly. You don't know all this stuff. And so. Um, I kind of agree with Nate's logic on that because I think we all agree that we blame Wanda in in Multiverse of Madness too. Or in we blame Wanda all the time. Yeah, for really. it's always Wanda. Wanda I know, but, all, no, but all I'm trying to say really <laughs> is like, regardless of if, when you're Cap, regardless of that being your boy from the past or 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 whatever, right? You know, like 
you're really going to side with him over the boy who's been risking his life with you for the past 10 years to save the world, to save you. You've saved him and everything to this dude. Yes, he's from his childhood. And yes, everything that's happened is terrible. And but in all reality, what has this guy been doing for the past years? He'd been a Nazi assassin. And I'm not saying but he, it's but his. He knows I know his he's friend. Yeah. And, I, and I, I agree with that. But you but when there's those two sides. You, how can you pick the assassin? And because I'm not saying that means he has to go down and he needs to go to jail forever and he needs to be put away. It's not that. It's just, but they need, he can't just like be at, like at that point in time. He couldn't just be like out and about. You know what I mean? Winter Soldier. Would Tony Stark, would Tony Stark have given a crap about him before he was Captain America? What you mean? Like, Winter Soldier. That's, that's why I, he's with Bucky. That's why he's with Bucky is because, or, yeah, that's what you're saying, right? Like, or are you are you saying are you saying why Cap is siding with Bucky, not why Bucky is? Yeah, and I'm saying oh, okay. Cap okay. sides with Bucky from the beginning, and I get that that's your boy and everything. But if like the right thing to do, in my opinion, in that situation, is to still take him in, try to help him, not go yeah. try to be some wanted f- fugitive, top top ten most wanted I, in the world, just so you could try and like help your boy out. When in reality, I the best the way to reason... help him would have been to bring him in and let's really figure out what happened here. I think the reason why Cap can't side with Iron Man, it all comes down to the Registration Act. Like he's like, if you could That's really crazy. support, if you could really support this act, then you're really not the person I knew all along. Because no, the see, fact that you would let the government tell you who we can and can't save just makes no, see, me realize that you're not that's really fair. the hero that's that fair. I thought you were. But then, like you guys say, Iron Man realizes his he's wrong and decides that he's going to go help Cap and, and and Winter Soldier, right? And then they find out, and then so then they're like, oh, okay, he's like, yeah, and. Iron Man says, I was wrong. You know, like I made a mistake. They make it up and everything. They're going to work together. And then they find out that Winter Soldier killed Iron Man's mom. And they decide, and, and then they jump Iron Man. And you're still on Team Cap's side after all that. Like you're Because again, do- they, at this point, they know he was brainwashed when he did that. At this yeah, point, they, like they, how, it doesn't, even Iron that, Man knows he was brainwashed. Of course, but like Iron Man says, he's like, I don't give a shit. You killed my mom. Like, how can you side with that person? Because he didn't kill his mom. It was Baron Zemo that killed his mom. Or not Baron Zemo, no, but the... Uh, yeah, Hydra the, uh, and stuff. Yeah, The Hydra, yeah. No, and no, and I 100% get that. But I'm saying, but like, when there's two sides there, there's an obvious side to be on. And I'm not saying that the other dude is Winter Soldier is like in the wrong necessarily. Because, it, yeah, it wasn't him. But if there's someone in the wrong, how could it possibly be Iron Man? Still going for Cap when he was when he was just putting in the work against Iron Man and that, that bunker, can, bro. It was probably one of the coldest me. fight scenes too when if, they were just like going at it and he put the shield in them. Oh yeah, oh fire fight scenes for sure. Yeah, but I love that movie. That's it. That was that. I, I spent that nailed it in the coffin for me because I remember first time watching it. I'm torn the whole time on whose side I am. Right when that happened, I was like, dude, there ain't no way I'm ever on Team Cap ever again. You can't do it. Like, you're going to do your boy Iron Man. And then he's like, he's my friend. Literally 100 years ago. Let me let me ask you this. How many times has Iron Man been wrong in the MCU and has, has caused things to happen? Yeah, no, mul- multiple. A lot, a lot. How many times has Cap? Not as many, definitely. I'm just saying, usually Cap is on the moral side of things, whereas Iron it's Man. Two. The answer is two. What That's What did he two. do? What were the two? Uh, he said that uh, whatever he said to Tony in the first Avengers, whenever they were arguing, and he and I know what Tony said to Steve. He was like, "You're nothing more than like a but the bottle of serum or whatever." Mm-hmm. But I forget, I forget what he said. But then, like the snap represents that, like that he was wrong about that yeah and then the other one was um was it age no it was uh what what iron man said in endgame that uh cap and the avengers like they would fight together they went together all that yeah and he i mean he basically lied yeah no that's true and i mean no but also i'm not arguing that like i'm team iron man for everything we're just talking about civil war you know what I mean? I think we're at a. I think it's all becomes down like which one, like one of them support, I mean, <clears> one of them like represents a moral, a moral aspect of the entire fight, and one is a more like emotional, intellectual aspect. Like Tony is, 
doing most of this out of guilt. It's not even the fact that he thinks it's right. He just that when that lady came in the hallway and talked yeah. about her son that died, it hit him and he was like, I gotta do something. Whereas Matt yeah. whereas um Cap is like this is the moral thing to do. Like we can't, you can't tell us who to save and who not to save, you know? Yeah. But, but another thing on top of all that though, especially with the, the killing her parents thing that really puts the icing on a cake, for, especially if you're talking about morality is cap already new. That is fair. That, that is. And then still decides to jump Tony because he's upset because this dude killed his parents. And they're like, Oh yeah. Let me just like almost kill you. Like he did your parents. Let's let's end this. Let's let's there's end this. Gotta, there's gotta like, be, but there's gotta Iron, be at the same life. time, Iron Man was gonna kill Bucky. Like he would have killed Bucky. But that's Cap way more Cap. valid. I'm not saying that's right either. But it's way more valid. Like neither. But is I mean, valid, then, but then, Cap... then Cap loses his best friend and is forced to put his other best friend in prison for years. That was a lose lose situation too. The point is, Iron Man would have killed Bucky had he had the chance. Cap had the chance to kill Iron Man and he didn't. Yeah. Yeah, he could have put that shield all the way yep. through him and he didn't. And that's why that's what made Tony like realize. Like you can tell that he like realized that whenever he accepts the phone and keeps it for all yeah, those no, years. Yeah, no, I mean and that's totally fair, but the fact of the matter is at least in my opinion that sh- it sh- it, they shouldn't have never gotten to that point. I agree that Cap should have been get-go. open with Tony about that information, but then again it would have just gotten worse had he found out like which he did, and it did get worse. Well, no, because but, if, yeah, I, if since he already knew, if he would have just told them, maybe not when they were all three alone together in this excluded area, like when Winter Soldier's not there, you know what I mean? Like when he's still Winter Soldier over in Hydra, like he could have. There's so many opportunities he could have told them, but ultimately, yeah. it's not even just that. It's it's from there's things throughout the entire movie that make me sway sides. But from like, but by the time that movie's over, I can't sit and say I'm on t- Captain's side. That's fair. It, All I know is Baron Zemo is one of the best villains. He tore the Avengers apart without that's for sure. touching one. No, that's yeah. for sure. That Regardless of, even though he's not that comic accurate, it was still still unbelievable. I I think that the message from this is that it is okay to be wrong, Nate. <laughs> hey, so, the message from this yeah. is y'all don't, would beat me up if one of you guys killed my parents. Y'all would jump me. No, no. that's the message I'm getting. But of course, no. no but regardless of that, though, <laughs> y'all at home, y'all gotta let us know. Are you Team Iron Man, Team Captain? Let us know in the comments and everything, and and, and, and your reasoning. But we are I... for life. Now that that heated debate is over, let's jump into this week's Who Am I? Um, Nate, I believe it's your your go this week. Yes. So each, so basically, I just I I have thought up a comic random comic book character, and the rest of the guys are gonna have six questions each to try and figure out who I am. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I got it. my character. Go for it. Anybody want to start? Yeah, I'll, I'll start. I was waiting to uh, see. Uh, <laughs> are you a Marvel character? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm done. You, no idea. Are you a male? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Are you it's a Iron villain? <laughs> huh? Are you a villain? No. Are you human? Yes. Are you on a? Uh, are you normally on a team? Mm, normally, no. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Um, does your character have multiple personalities? No. Okay. Is your character considered a street tier? Yes. Hero. Okay.
Is your character black? Yes. Okay. 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 That that narrows it down a little bit. <laughs> a lot of it. <laughs> do we want to? Do we want to go for it? Um, Can I go for it? Yeah. Go for okay. it. Are you, are you Luke Cage? No. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So a hero, street tier. I, I I think I know who it is, but I'm just going to keep going. Um, does your character fight vampires? No. Okay. Okay. Still have one guess. That's good to know. I don't even, I'm so, like, behind on Marvel. Um... Street tier, bro. I don't even know. Um, does your character have hair? Yes. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> hair, bro. Hair, like, is it bald? Is he bald? Does your character have alopecia? No. <laughs> <laughs> Has your character been diagnosed with mesothelioma? <laughs> so we may be entitled to find Does comments. your Does your character have a movie that came out this year? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I'll take Wait. a guess. It's, it's oh. your character, Miles Morales. Yes. <laughs> yes we actually it is. got one. Was that the first one we got? For who am I? I think so, actually. Yeah. No, you well, guys got, I, got, got Oh, you, got, got, you guys got mine. Yeah, and I think you got mine, too. Oh, oh. I don't know. Pretty but sure. uh, I tried to yeah, try to not make it too hard. But I was surprised. Yeah, right was when I one. said it was Black Street here, I thought. You were when Mac. You were guessing. I thought you were gonna get it, but I guess Luke Cage is fair. I was like, I was like, that's why I kind of thought. That's why I thought it would be maybe kind of hard, but I thought. Do you want to do another one? I mean, yeah, pretty quick. I'm down if someone else has someone, or I mean, I can just think up another one one. real quick. Okay, you got one. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, bet. Is your character in DC? Yes. Is your character a guy? No. Is your character a human? Yes. Is your character a hero? Yes. Is your character normally on a team? Not normally, no. Is your character wait, a member wait, of the Wait, guy? wait, wait, wait. Pause. It's hard to. I'm gonna go yes with the team. Actually, I'm gonna go yes. Sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, is your is your character a member of the Bat Family? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs> is your? And we already clarified it was a male, right? Dude, is no, it... it's not I a know. male. It's not a male. Oh, it's not okay then. Yeah. Um, as is your, has your character been a Batgirl? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> has your character ever gone on non canonically with uh, Batman? No. Okay. Does your character have red hair? No. Okay. Does your is your character the best hand-to-hand combatant in the universe? No. Or on the Earth, on on the planet, I mean. No. Oh, okay. Not the best. I'm stumped now because there's only one person I was thinking of, and it's not them. Um, well, let me just ask another unrelated question. Have you read Birds of Prey 1 yet? Yes. Okay. 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 Wait. Did you say they? they oh asked... wait. No, I haven't read Birds of Prey yet. I haven't. Sorry. Okay. Then can I change? Let me change my question to that. Are they okay. one of the greatest hand-to-hand? Oh combatants? yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I know who it is. <laughs> Mac, you guys aren't allowed to guess anymore. Only Mac because he only knows Marvel. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. Y'all already know who it is. I don't even know. I'm trying to think about who's on the Birds of Prey cover. Because I saw I didn't it. Even, 
I, I haven't read Birds of Prey, but I like cover. heard this about. I heard. Did you hear this? That happens. Yeah, yeah that's that why happens. I said that because I was like, yeah. I saw this yeah. cover and she was on it, and I just, I, I'm not obviously not going to show you back. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that or not, but I guess you kind of have. They said it. So. Wait, so yeah, they're a, I didn't... They, they are a back. Uh, they're a back girl. They're a they back girl. Back, yes, and it's not Barbara Gordon. Uh, that's the only one I know. That's why I asked if they not. <laughs> well, just, just just ask a random question, and that's and then we can guess. Uh, ask. Uh, I can't help you. Um, do they have two legs? Probably. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, is your, is your, is your character Cassandra Kane? No. Actually? Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, 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 <laughs> dude, I was looking and I saw her and I, I started, y'all started asking questions. I was like, man, she's part of the Bat family. This is going to be way too easy. Yeah. Like, as soon as they ask if it's a Bat family member, it's going to be like eight people they can choose from. Nah, that's facts. But yeah, no, that's fire. All right. Well, we went two for two, but now let's jump into the draft. We're doing another draft this week. And this week, we're going to be drafting comic book heroes so just comic book protagonists comic book heroes we're going to be doing this draft in serpentine order um to make it more fair and when it's all said and done you guys at home let us know who's got the best list so with that being said i have the first pick and so with that first pick i am going to take batman you suck i know where you live (laughs) <laughs> you're gonna be peeking through your window i am going to take rick grimes there you go all right i, it. Ooh, I don't know what to do here now <laughs> that, was a, that wasn't my before. first pick that wasn't we my talked first about pick. i'm just I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I can't do that because I've never read a single a single issue of the <laughs> no <laughs> take it take it i have been a single episode of the show Oh no! I'm gonna go with uh, I'm going to go with Mark Grayson. That's nice. That's good. All right. That's on my list. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go with Spider Man. Dang it! I was hoping nice. you take Rick. Damn man. All right. Um, I'm gonna take Superman, and I'm gonna take Wonder Woman. Okay. Uh, next up, I'll take. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> I'm gonna take Nightwing. Yeah, I was iffy on it. I was stuck between him and Wonder Woman. Yeah. I, I'm gonna take uh, Deadpool. And okay. Stu, you took Spider Man first, right? Yeah. Okay. So then I'm gonna. I get two though, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do for my second pick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Flash. And we're talking Barry. Barry. Or Wally. Barry. Barry. We're gonna take Barry Allen Flash, and then for my third. Oh man, this is very difficult. For my third, I'm gonna go with Hulk, the Incredible Hulk. Mac. I'm going to go with three at four or five. 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 We're okay. five in total. Okay. Yeah, so this will be yeah, I'm gonna go with Hellboy. Hey, I respect that. That's a big W. I'm taking the flash Wally West. Nice. Dang it. That was my brother's too. Uh, <laughs> for my third, I'm gonna go Captain America. Okay. And for my fourth, I'm going to go Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Nice, nice. For my fourth, I'm taking Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Nice. For my number four, I'm going to go with Daredevil. Nice. That was my my next pick. (laughs) This is tough, man. For my four, 
I'm going to go with Wolverine. And then What's for that? my five, I'm going to go with Iron Man. He's still available, right? Yep. Yeah. And I'm taking Wolverine and Iron Man. Let's, uh, just because I've been reading so much of him recently, let's uh, finish it off with Spawn. Nice. All right. Brogo and Image. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Uh, for my last pick, I'll go John Stewart Scream Land. Dang it. Nice. That was my next one. Man, y'all suck. Um <laughs> all right. Oh. <laughs> I caught it though. I caught it. My w's. cat is over here rubbing on everything. All right, for my last pick in the draft. <laughs> I'm going I'm going Thor. Nice. I'm going Thor. That's I was stuck between one. him and Green Thor. Arrow, but yeah. I respect it. You need to chill out, bro. So is that oh, all? Yeah. That's all of us now. Oh, yeah. All right. So then yeah. there, y'all there, y'all see it. Our lists, our to, our our top fives. Y'all at home, let us know who's got the best list. Who did we forget? Who are your favorites? You you y'all know the drill. Let us know. All right. Y'all can go ahead and give me the crown. It's it's understandable. <laughs> give me that crown. <laughs> all right y'all know what time it is it's the end of the episode it's the last segment let's get into our pool list for this week it's coming up wednesday not a whole lot dropping but still some pretty <laughs> exciting stuff for once my pool list isn't over 40 dollars. so seriously seriously uh, yes. starting at number three i have birds of prey number two we just talked about this i haven't read the first one yet but i know this new team is fire and i'm excited to pick it up i think i'm gonna pick up the whole run and then just read it all at once so i'm excited about that Oh, yeah. Number two, I have Blue Beetle number two, another one I'm super hyped for. Uh, Follow-up to Graduation Day was awesome, so it's going to be pretty dope. And at number one, Batman number 138. Gotham War has just been so entertaining, and I cannot wait. And this cover, amazing. No, that cover yeah, is sick. Yeah, cover spy. So sick that it's my number three. Batman <laughs> 138, just like, that, just like Brandon said. It, I mean, I just I just caught up on Zdarsky's run now, so I'm ready to dive into the Gotham War, so I can't wait. And then number two, I got Shazam issue four. Mark Wade and Dan Mora might be the best creative duo right now. I don't know. They're up there, but this story has been great. Can't wait to see where it's going. And then number one, I got Blue Beetle number two. The first issue was great. I cannot wait to see where they are going with this. I... So Dark Tempest has actually been pretty fire. I'm enjoying this. So I put that in my number three because we got we got some more heat coming in. Um, Gods, I'm very excited about. I know a little bit about it, but I've been I've been waiting for this. I've been seeing so many teasers about it. And number one, we got Ghost Rider versus the Hoods. So this this should be pretty interesting. That does look very dope. Yeah. All right, and then um, on my list this weekend, number three, I got uh, DC Shazam, number four. I've been loving this story. And then at number two, I got Blue Beetle, issue number two. I'm hyped to read this, hopefully see what happened to Ted Cord. And then at number one, I got Batman 138. Yeah. Hyped for this. The Gotham War has been fire. Hell yeah. I need, to re- I need to pick up Catwoman number 57 because I haven't read it yet, and I didn't know that was the next part in the Gotham War. So, yeah. It's pretty essential. Like, I, do I haven't read it yet. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. But, I mean, if you look at, like, the story outline on Comic Geeks or stuff like that, it says part what three. each issue is, and yeah, and yeah. that's in it. So, I got and it the rest just one there happened to be a sweet variant that for 57, so I was like, I'm getting that either way. Was it the pink one the where pink, her eyes yeah. were like, yeah, I, so missed, I missed out on it. I don't know why I didn't grab it. I they didn't have it at my LCS, it but be... I found it at another one. So I went to two this weekend, and neither one of them had any issues with 57 at all. So Damn, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I well, might just read it online just so I can catch up on the story. That's fair. But yeah, I mean, y'all, know, this, this Gotham War stuff is about to be crazy, so make sure you catch up in, in time for this. But that's going to do it for this episode of the Hollow Nerds podcast. Make sure you tune in again next week for episode 13. Nerd on. Nerd out.